Hey guys, welcome back or welcome. Today's video is going to be all about putting my rinsing method to the test. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how the same pile of three days worth of rinse dishes can be put into the dishwasher or hand washed in record time. But overall, my main goal with this clean with me style video is to hopefully help motivate some of you to start applying this simple concept into your dishwashing routine. Over the years, I have learned that if I can do something that I really hate doing in a short amount of time, that equals more time to do things I actually enjoy doing. I don't know if you guys remember, but as kids, we would rush to clean our rooms, well, at least some of us, <laughs> or do our chores, because for most of us, that usually meant we could go out and play or do something exciting. So naturally, as kids, we would look for the quickest way to accomplish the tasks, like shoving things in a closet or under a bed, right? <laughs> Obviously, as adults, we have learned it's not that easy anymore because it's not mom or dad now cleaning up our hidden messes, but it's us. We will eventually have to deal with the mess, but if we can put systems in place to help our mess be more manageable, then technically we have cracked the code as an adult to more playing time, right? <laughs> now keep in mind guys, this is about three days worth of rinse dishes, so I don't regularly let dishes pile up like this, but I thought it was a perfect example to show you guys really how crazy life can get. It might be, you know, a week for some of you. <laughs> that's just reality for some of us. And that's why I love this method so much, guys. I don't feel like a failure at the end of the day, as long as I've taken the time to rinse reason why I do this is because sometimes I only have a minute I only have you know two minutes three minutes whatever um, throughout the day where I can at least prep the dishes and then later have another two minutes or three minutes to load the dishwasher or hand wash them it's just way more realistic to divide it up like that um, because our lives are just crazy and this is the only way that I feel like I'm not behind the couple minutes I took to rinse each dish throughout the day motivates me to actually complete the task later because I've already done half the job and I know that this isn't a mountain full of dirty crusty dishes it's a mountain full of rinse dish so it just makes things so much better and I know it's something so silly to even think that could make a huge difference in your dishwashing routine. It's still washing the dishes. Nobody loves washing the dishes regardless. But I feel like this makes the task a little bit less dreadful. <laughs> All right, guys, if you've made it this far into the video, I want you to go to your sink and assess the situation. <laughs> if there's any dishes in that sink right now, take them, rinse them, put them aside. And if it's bedtime for you guys right now, I want you to just stop trying to rush through the dishes, okay? I want you to fill up your sink with water, soapy hot water if possible, and just put all your dishes in there. Now, if you wanna finish rinsing, if you have two double sinks, that's fine too. But at that point, I want you to stop and go do something else that you want to do or that you need to get done like put your kids to bed or read them a bedtime story or if you guys don't have children maybe a break for you looks more like actually taking a long bubble bath you know that fantasy that we all wish we had time for after a long day's work <laughs> then after you have had a moment to de-stress go back and finish the dishes or simply go to bed because again once you've rinsed you can stop in the morning, just pick up where you left off and just start the cycle all over again. But the difference now is the rest of these dishes are gonna take you less than five minutes to complete. You know, obviously it just depends on how many you left for the next day, but it's not gonna take you hours anymore. This is why I preach this method so much. 
it just gives us more flexibility, more time to finish. Don't you guys think it's time we busy moms and dads stop allowing dishes to run our lives? I promise you guys, you will never be at the sink for as long as you have in the past. It truly is a life changer, you guys. Now, if my rambling was not motivation enough to rethink how you spend your time, hopefully this very powerful poem by Rose Milligan will do the trick. It's called Dust If You Must. Dust if you must, but wouldn't it be better to paint a picture or write a letter? Bake a cake or plant a seed? Ponder the difference between want and need. Dust if you must, but there's not much time with rivers to swim and mountains to climb. Music to hear and books to read. Friends to cherish and life to lead. Dust if you must, but the world's out there. With the sun in your eyes and the wind in your hair. A flutter of snow, a shower of rain. This day will not come around again. Dust if you must, but bear in mind, old age will come and it's not kind. And when you go and go you must, you yourself will make more dust.